Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about Minecraft and the possibility of building an open source Minecraft. So, Minecraft is a very popular open world sandbox game where you can build and destroy blocks, um, interact with um, other human players and non human players. You can play single player or run servers and play with others. Um, so Minecraft was developed originally by Notch in Java, um, and when it first came out, it was kind of an indie game, and um, the people running it clearly cared a lot about the users, so it was easy to get a copy of Minecraft, even if you couldn't afford to officially pay for it, and they made it easy to run your own private server, where you could set your own rules, um, add mods, and things like that. But Minecraft was bought by Microsoft in 2014, and Microsoft has run it ever since. Uh, Microsoft has continued to expand the game a lot um, and added new features, but they've also imposed a lot more top-down control. Um, so one example of this is recently Microsoft announced they'll start banning players from private Minecraft servers. So if you vi violate one of Microsoft's rules, they'll not only ban you from public servers, but they'll make it so you can't log into private servers, um, even with the permission of the person running the server. Microsoft also announced that they're going to be banning NFTs in Minecraft. So if you wanted to set up a private Minecraft server and build some sort of virtual economy, or even just like a cryptocurrency in your game, or items represented by NFTs in your game, Microsoft won't allow you to do that. Um, so the easiest way around this would be if there was an open source version of Minecraft, then anyone would be able to download and run the code and do whatever they wanted with the basic mechanics of Minecraft. Um, so to see if this is possible, we need to understand how U.S. intellectual property law works and how it relates to Minecraft specifically. So the first thing that's important is trademark. Um, trademark protects the ability of companies to have a known brand and not have people deceive consumers into um, believing that products that weren't made by that brand um, were actually genuine products. So for example, if I were to start building sneakers and selling them in a way that consumers would believe the sneakers were made by Nike, this would be a violation of trademark. Um, so how this relates to Minecraft is you can't release um, an open source version of Minecraft and call it Minecraft. Um, or you can't call it something so close to Minecraft that consumers are likely to be fooled. Um, so if your branding is deceptive and people are led to believe that they're downloading a version of Minecraft that was made by Microsoft, you'd probably be in violation of trademark. Um, I don't think this creates a large obstacle to creating an open source Minecraft because you can just, you can make something identical to Minecraft and just call it something other than Minecraft and you wouldn't be in a violation of trademark. Um, the second important intellectual property system is copyright. Um, copyright protects creative expressions, but not rules or facts. Um, so all of the code in Minecraft it would be covered by copyright. Um, so if the, Microsoft, if the Minecraft source code were to leak, um, you would not be able to distribute it and open source it or uh, let people run it because that would violate Microsoft's copyright. Um, similarly, all of the art in the game itself is also covered by copyright. So um, the actual like pixel art for how all the blocks look is covered by copyright. The music played in Minecraft is covered by copyright and so on. Um, the game rules are not covered by copyright. Um, so you could make a game like Minecraft where all of the um, crafting mechanics work the exact same way as in the default Minecraft, and this would not violate copyright because game rules cannot be copyrighted. 
And I actually think this is probably the best way to go about doing an open source Minecraft clone, is I think you want it to be as much of a drop-in replacement for uh, regular Minecraft that people are used to as possible. So I think you want the controls to be effectively identical. Um, you want all the crafting to work with the exact same formulas that people already know. Um, and generally just the game to work in a way that's familiar to people. So moving on to what currently exists for open source Minecraft. The main project is MindTest, um, which is a open source uh, Minecraft clone of sorts, um, which I can demo right here. Um, so as you can see, it looks pretty similar to Minecraft um, and has a lot of the basics. Um, the one thing that I haven't liked about mine test is like I was just saying, um, I think it's valuable to have it be as identical as possible to Minecraft. With mine test, you have to build things in different ways and you're essentially learning to play a new game even though there are a lot of similarities. Um, but in general, mine test is a pretty popular project. Um, it works and there are also a lot of mods for mind test available. So you can um, play all sorts of games based on mind test and they seem to focus on making it easy to mod. Um, I think there are also mind test mods um, that try to emulate default Minecraft from Microsoft as well as possible, um, but I don't think any of them are super easy to use out of the box and just work well. Um, another version of mine, open source Minecraft I found was Craft by uh, Fogelman. Um, so this is an implementation of Minecraft in C using OpenGL. Um, and this seems to be very well done as kind of a base to build um, a Minecraft game on top of. the It's implemented in C with no game engine, um, so you can easily modify things, and it looks like it's written using only a few thousand lines of C. Um, additionally, um, the this implementation seems to be very stable, um, so I think this project's been around for something like five or ten years now, and going through the pull request, it looks like he's pretty wary to merge things. Um, so, looking through here earlier, there's a um, there's a pull request to um, do Vulkan rendering instead of OpenCL, and people have contributed a number of other features. Um, so this is probably both a good and a bad thing. I think it's good to have like a very stable base, um, but this project is not being updated super frequently. Um, this is also not going to be super easy to use. Um, I was trying to compile this on Linux, but was unable to get it to work with the um, the underlying OpenGL library. Um, so in conclusion, I think it'd be really valuable to build a quality open source Minecraft implementation and let me know if you have any ideas on how this could be done.